张太荣帮人选嘛，成功的人士。And this uh title is the Chinese structures. Uh, the topology is same in metals, and this was structures from these principles. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Perry Zhang from National Chengkong University. Uh, first one, I thank organizers' invitation, give me an opportunity to share our recent work here. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, topological uh, semi metals and discuss uh, the hydro structure in uh, topological insurators. At the beginning, I will very briefly uh, introduce the basic concept and the properties of topology in condensed matter system, and then I'll give an uh, example, a uh, typical topological insurator is in the same line, and I also discuss uh, its uh, hetero structures. In the second part, uh, we will focus on uh, semi metallic phase. Okay. Uh, we will discuss the uh, three uh, typical uh, topological semi uh, metal, uh, wire semi metal, nodular semi metal, and our uh, recent works uh, have two direct semi metals. Uh, because the uh, previous speaker has uh, have given a very nice and clear introduction, here I uh, I only use a simple this picture uh, recall uh, the key uh, concept. Okay, uh, even the uh, physics is not precisely but uh, very simple. Okay. Uh, in us, uh, we are uh, we are used to discussing topology in real space. We can recognize the system topology by using this uh, Gauss Bernier theorem. We don't need to go to detail. This theorem gives us a G value. Okay. G value equal one means uh, there is a hole on the object. G equal zero indicates there is no hole on the object. So the same G value represents the same topology, even their geometry are completely uh, different. So here is a famous example. A topology of a coffee cup is the same as a donut, but different from the uh, pile ball. In physics, we are familiar with the band structure. So the topology is in momentum space. Okay. Here is an example. Uh, there are uh, three bands. We can see uh, the band geometry. Okay. The band geometry means uh, the band shape or the band gap size. The band geometry of band two and uh, the band one and band two are almost the same. However, their topology are different. For band two and band structure, they look uh, completely uh, different. However, their topology is identical. Okay. It seems come to uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's uh, focus on band one first. We can see uh, from the uh, various band, it may be uh, contributed from the B orbital. Kalash band is from the A orbital. For example, A orbital is bismuth, uh, B orbital is uh, selenium. Because uh, the brain span or the Kalash band are contributed from one species of orbitals, so the wave function on this band is a smooth function. For band structure 2, okay, uh, most of them from B orbital. However, uh, at this point, it shows A orbital character. So it seems uh, there's a hole on the band structure. So the wave function on this band is not a smooth function. This is uh, why the topology of band 1 is different from uh, band 2, because the whole number on the wave function are different. In this case, uh, we can see uh, the brain band and the potential band exchange uh, their optical character. Okay. We call the uh, band inversion. Band inversion, band inversion that uh, the system violates uh, chemical bond order and uh, induce uh, the topological phase transition here. Okay. Uh, in single part of brain, uh, phase, topological phase transition uh, must accompany a uh, uh, band inversion process. Similar to the Gauss-Bernay theorem, mathematically, uh, we can use a mathematical quantity uh, to di distinguish topological phase. The terminology is a topological invariant number, which is a random integral of the uh, very curvature. 
is a, if the wave function is a smooth function, this integral equals zero. If there's a whole uh, a wave function with type of phi non-visual wave curvature, so this integral give, you, uh, give us an uh, integer values. If n equals zero, uh, uh, it is a topological trivial phase. Now zero n is a topological non-trivial phase, for example, uh, topological insulators. Uh, here I introduce a very uh, important property in topological materials. Topological phase guarantee possesses a gapless surface state on the system boundary or the system edge, and this surface state must connect to the fence and the conduction gate. Different from a uh, typical semi-metal, its uh, surface state can be removed. For example, we can apply uh, external field or impurity absorption. The surface state in topological phase is very robust. Small external perturbation cannot uh, destroy this surface state because uh, which resulted from a uh, bulk topology. And uh, most important thing is uh, this surface state is the only measurable quantity to judge the topological phase in experiments. So I say uh, the gap surface state is the hallmark of the topological phase in topological materials. Uh, here I uh, summarize the key uh, property of uh, topological phase. First one is uh, robust. If one state can continuously information to another state without a uh, closing gap, uh, make a inversion, their topology are identical. Even their geometry are entirely different. For example, uh, we can continuously deformation from this state structure to this one. Okay. So their topology are identical. It was impossible from this state to this state without closing the gap. Second is uh, we can use the uh, mathematical quantity to, to distinguish topological phase. For example, we have a two number in between the x and the number and so on. Third is the uh, gapless service state. Here is an here is an example. Here is an example of uh, pretty this panel. The flat band, okay, this flat band are the box state. These two DBLIs are topological service state. Now I artificially increase the spin of the company. You can see the band geometry change very dramatically. However, the service state still survive here in a gap connect fence and collection band. Until we make the bay inversion, change the bulk topology, the service state disappear. Okay, okay this was the line. Upper data were from uh, a sub group. In upper spectrum, uh, there, uh, there are two linear lines around the Fermi level and there is a electron bucket across the Fermi level. This panel is our theoretical simulation. Comparing with RPS and theory, we can easily recognize these two linear lines are the topological surface state. And this bucket, this electron bucket uh, is the bulk conduction band. So if we theoretically make a bay inversion, okay, surface state disappear. Okay, here I uh, here I give an uh, possible application in topological insulators. Uh, traditionally, uh, if we want to uh, control uh, on and off in uh, electronic devices, we need to apply the large current or the uh, gate field. But uh, this kind of setup is a uh, uh, cost. A higher energy and uh, the response is very slow. The next generation uh, devices uh, need a faster, smaller, and energy saving. So, one possible way is to uh, develop 
a spin basis uh, transistor. Uh, we can use a brush bar effect to flip the spin to uh, control the on and off. So, uh, if we want to control uh, to flip the spin, the spin uh, splitting value is a, a crucial point. Larger uh, splitting, splitting value can reduce uh, the device size as well as uh, using uh, room temperatures. So there are many uh, previous work uh, try to uh, make a large spin base split. One of the approach is uh, uh, we can make a, a heavy metal on a semiconductor heterostructure structure using its uh, potential gradient uh, to induce uh, spin base splitting. But uh, in this type of systems, uh, we can see the splitting is very, very small, and the uh, brush parameter is also very small. Okay. Recently, uh, we found if we put a uh, uh, normal metal on the particle insulator, uh, normal metal thin thing, normal metal thin thing on the particle insulator, uh, the quantum real state will uh, interact with the uh, surface state of the particle insulator and induce a very uh, large spin band splitting in the uh, metal uh, quantum well. And our theoretical prediction, uh, the rush bar parameter is around uh, two order larger than the uh, uh, typical semiconductor case. Another case is a business by layer on the business center. In this work, we collaborated with uh, uh, Professor Huang Longjun uh, from National Central University. Uh, his group uh, used the uh, hydrogen etching uh, to make a large and uniform uh, business by layer on a uh, business center. And this one is their RPS data. And this is our uh, DFT simulation. Our simulation shows uh, in the business by layer, there is a large uh, speed band in the business uh, model well state. And the brush bar parameter is very large. Uh, which can com uh, which comparable with other uh, large brush bar parameters. So, so the surface state of the particle insulator uh, can be used to induce large brush bar splitting, which may be useful in future spintronics. The particle material is a very large uh, research field. Okay. Not not only a uh, topological insulator, this was said, I, there are other uh, topological class. For example, uh, topological counter insulator, big topological insulator, and topological crystal insulator. Recently, uh, a part of research uh, have shifted from the insulating phase to the metallic phase. So in next section, we'll focus on uh, uh, three typical topological semi-metal, Dirac, wire, and nodular. Uh, okay, uh, this is a wire cell metal. The bulk band in wire cell metal is a energy with three dimensional graphene. Linear band dispersion from wire nodes in all momentum directions. Uh, this is RP theta, and this one is our uh, simulation. These are linear band structure signal, and this, this is a wire, wire point. And wire points can provide non visual very curvature in momentum space, so it's uh, an energy with a magnetic in in momentum space. And it's a uh, sub-state, okay, it's a Fermi arc. We know uh, the Fermi surface in normal metal must be a close, uh, close uh, two-dimensional shape for normal metal. But in a uh, wire metal, it's a sub-state, it's a open curve, which connect two wire nodes. Uh, in this panel, this black and dark point are the wire nodes, and this brown lines are the Fermi arc surface state. Okay. We can see uh, the Fermi arc starts from uh, one wire node, and uh, in the end, at other wire node. So it's an open curve. Okay. 
and this is uh, Argus data. Okay. Uh, because of uh, this uh, unusual electronic structure, so we can expect well semi-metal not only fundamental physics, but uh, maybe uh, possible future applications uh, will uh, differ from uh, normal metal. However, the well semi-metal real material is still very rare. We only have a past family. But uh, this family has uh, many limitations. For example, uh, Pass is a three-dimensional crystal, so it is very hard to make something in experiments. And uh, previous proposed proposal, uh, the previous work was while semi metal is an intermediate state between the normal metal and topological semi metal. So if we can move the wire point, we can study uh, this phase transition. But in pass, the wire semi uh, the wire point cannot be tilted, so it is impossible to explore this phase transition. So our goal is try to search the wire phase in their structure and try to search a tunable wire semi In uh, 2016, we noticed a tungsten terabyte. Tungsten terabyte is a layer structure here. And this is both band structure. But unfortunately, uh, tungsten terabyte is a insurance layer is the gap here. The gap is a very, very small, around one milli electron volt. So this result implies us even tungsten terabyte is not a biosemi metal, but very close to the phase transition boundary. If we can find a way that B2 and B3 band cross, okay, we can get a wire phase in tungsten terabyte. So after our systematic study, we found if we can artificially reduce the spin of the coupling or the latest constant, we can let B2 and B3 band cross to get the wire phase. But the spin of the coupling is a native quantity in nature, so how to reduce it in experiments. So our situation is a uh, multi-doping. We found a uh, multi-doping can reduce the spin of the coupling as well as the latest constant. So uh, this is our of calculation in this doping system. These two points are the wire points, and you can see a linear line here, and these two points are uh, these two points. More interestingly, we found uh, the distance, the distance of these two wire points can be modified by changing the molly doping concentrations. In this panel, the horizontal axis is the molly doping concentration, and the vertical axis is the wire point uh, distance. We can see the separation increase as increasing the doping concentrations. So this is a tunable system. We know uh, the wire semi is a topological state, so it's very robust. The only way to kill the wire phase is that then kiss, or that then touch in momentum space, okay, we can give up the wire phase. So the distance between the wire phase can be regarded as the topological strength in uh, wire semi metal. For example, uh, in, in our doping system, in low doping region, the separation of the wire point is very small. So this wire phase is delicate. If we increase okay, the doping concentration, the separation becomes very large, so this wire phase becomes robust. We also uh, study the uh, surface properties. This is our uh, surface visual simulation. The shadow area is the bulk state, and bright lines are the surface state. These two points are the wire points, and these bright lines connect two wire points. It's a Fermi arc surface state. This is KXKY map. Clear shows a Fermi arc connect two wire points. So a conclusion of this work is uh, we found uh, uh, this doping system is a wires, uh, is a wire semi metal in layer structures, and this system is a tunable system, so which uh, maybe uh, offer a platform to study a uh, topological phase transition in real materials. Uh, I think because of the time, I uh, skip uh, the. 
experimental part here. Ah, uh, the other class of uh, topological semi metal is a uh, low low line semi metal. Different from uh, normal metal, which uh, for this service uh, shows uh, two dimensional features. Nodal line semi metal, the bulk firm surface is a one dimensional loop in three dimensional frame zone. So this is a nodal line firm surface. The simplest nodal line is a, is a crossing point of two paraboloid spans. So it things are very simple. However, this, uh, this kind of uh, Fermi bulk firm surface has yet been found in real materials, even in uh, DFT material prediction tables. So we would like to search this kind of uh, loop uh, or for instance, in real materials. Okay, we notice a uh, layer dependent cell In these structures, it's a again it's a layer structure. This system they can inverge a symmetry, but has a mirror symmetry along the z axis, and this mirror plane uh, play a crucial rule for protect uh, nodal line. Okay, okay this is a box plane structure. It's quite complicated, so, so we only need box around the uh, edge point. Edge point is the corner of the hexagonal brain zone. Around the uh, edge point. Uh, the main contribution is from uh, that P electron like band and uh, tentanin E orbitals. They cross each other and uh, form in a uh, nodal line. Okay, these crossing states are the uh, nodal line. And this is a KSKY map. It clearly shows a two cross loop at the corner of the brain zone. In other materials, because the spin off coupling uh, break the uh, SU2 spin rotational symmetry, so most of a uh, cross state will uh, get out. But here we have a uh, mirror symmetry and uh, AHL pen, uh, this plan, AHL pen, just on this uh, mirror pen. So these crossing points are protected by the mirror symmetry. This is why the spin off coupling in our case cannot destroy the nodal line of from the surface. Okay. Okay, this is a surface spatial wave simulation. Okay. This is our simulation. The shader area uh, is the bulk projection and the bright lines are the surface state. But because the surface state is very close to the bulk projection, so uh, please see this schematic here. This color dot are the nodal point and uh, the white line is the surface state. We can see the surface state connect uh, connect two nodal points or the merge okay, in the bulk. So this is the signature of the topological, topological band, band structure. <coughs> Here I show some of our uh, art data. We know uh, the nodal lines are formed from the closing points of that P and tendon D orbitals. This is our art data which successfully capture these uh, uh, properties, uh, capture these features. Okay. This is a uh, left P orbital and this is a uh, internet D orbitals. If we remove uh, the left atom, become a internet cyanide, we can see the left electron pocket disappear. So it's uh, empty. Another evidence is uh, this surface space we label SS2 here. This state is from a uh, nodal point, from the nodal line below the Fermi label. Okay. So Abyss also, again, successfully uh, observed this state. So combining with our theoretical prediction and uh, Abyss, we demonstrate that Tintin Senai is a nodal line semi metal. We also predict uh, other compound, uh, TTS, is also a nodal line semi metal. The final one is a, we have discussed a while and not line, so the final one is a Dirac semi-metal. Okay. Uh, Dirac semi-metal is a very, very rare okay, 
only uh, LS3 BI and uh, uh, C3 LS2 are demonstrated by experiments. We only have uh, two materials. Here I uh, predict, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot, oh, here, DL3. In this compound, it's a symmetry uh, along the Dirac point x6 on the rotational axis. The Dirac point is protected by C4 rotational symmetry. This is a bulk band structure. It's a, almost an initiator, except some uh, discrete uh, points. Okay. It shows a linear band dispersion here. And uh, we found uh, this band structure is highly anisotropy. This is a uh, normal Dirac semi-metals. Uh, we can see the slope side of lower cone are upside in KF, KY, and KZ direction. But in our system, the slope side of lower cone are upside along KX, KY, but along the rotational axis, uh, the slope side are the same. Okay, so this is a type 2 feature. If we put a Fermi label on the drop point and plot a KX, KY map, we can see a uh, electron bucket and whole bucket just touch at the drop point. This is the signature of type 2 uh, semi metals. And we also check a topological invariant number. Okay. According to this classification table, we found our system is distinct from the uh, uh, C3S2 and NS3BI. Uh, in these two systems, their topological invariant number are uh, 2D uh, Z2 equal 1 or the mirror number equal 1. In our case, it's a mirror number equal 2. So, so the Fermi arc. Uh, are two pairs. Okay. This is ms 3 bi It's one pair of Fermi arc, but in our case, it's two pair. Okay. Consistent with a topological invariant number. And the rock metal is very uh, interesting because it can be great as a critical point in topological phase. It means we can uh, we can realize different uh, phases. Uh, just uh, simply break uh, the symmetry. For example, if we break the C4 symmetry, the system becomes a prison generator. If we apply the magnetic field, break the time door symmetry, it becomes a wire semi-metal. So because of time, let me skip over the part and go to the conclusion. By using a DFT and a, a, a type ID model, a new type ID model, we can uh, predict uh, new uh, topological materials or uh, provide theoretical interpretation for experiments. In this talk, we have discussed the uh, tunable wire sand metal, nodal line sand metal, type 2, the rock, and uh, uh, heterostructure structure in topological insulator. I thank all collaborators, uh, including uh, RPS, symbol growth, and uh, uh, theoretical support. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, who's first? Okay. Okay, maybe a, a quick one. You you show us a large brush bar effect of business on a, a topological interior surface on one direction. Yes. I just want to is the Fermi surface, uh, Fermi level cut through this uh, rush bar uh, uh, Dirac point? No. <laughs> the Fermi level is here. Above the Dirac point? Yes. So the rush bar spins breathing band slightly above the Fermi level. And any other band, or this is only rush bar band across the Fermi level? Uh, if in the, uh, this was quantum wave state, only uh, rush bar breathing state here. No other conduction band. Other conduction band at uh, the first quantum quantum layer of business cellular. So it's not in the business layer. Yes. 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 Okay. Professor Zhu. Thank you. I was just curious about the uh, this uh, tungsten halide uh, case stopped by uh, molybdenum. 
And so in the calculation, you have to do uh, super cell calculations and vary that uh, X concentration. So when you do the super cell calculations, you would have different symmetry or different type of super cell. And then at the end, you have to compare the band structure with the original one by one uh, constant heteride band structure. Okay. okay. Does okay. it matter what kind of uh, uh, super cell symmetry and uh, how did you get the I mean, this, uh, band dispersion in uh, your finite cell? Thank you. A uh, very good question. Okay. Uh, in this uh, in this work, we didn't use a super cell. We construct a typing, a one-year typing model uh, from a lab Tenton Senai and uh, Marley Tenton, uh, and we linear interpretation between the two hopping uh, parameters. Yeah, and uh, fortunately, our result consists with a uh, theoretic, uh, sorry, with the uh, experimental data quite well. So this me this method is work in this case. More questions? Yeah. Thank you for the talk. And I think um, there, um, for type 2 G1, there's a type 2 1 and metal, I think, in 2013 or So, can you give some comments for some different in type 2 and type 1? Or, thank you. Uh, here, uh, we also study a uh, metal label. In a wild sending metal, uh, lo the lowest uh, Landau label state is a chemical state. In a type 1 case, uh, the lowest Landau state is uh, consists of two uh, chemical states with upside chirality. But here in our type 2 case, we have uh, two chemical states, but the burning velocity are, are the same side. So now if we apply a magnetic field, a particular, uh, for example, along the PZ direction, so the Fermi label, uh, sorry, uh, the electron cyclotron motion will be in a KSKY band. So in semi-classical picture, electron will trace uh, the Fermi surface within these planes. Okay. So now if we apply magnetic field along uh, this direction, okay, the Fermi surface is a closed loop. Now if we tilt the magnetic field like this. The Fermi surface will distort. Now if we at a critical point, the Fermi surface will become an open curve. So all the Landau label collapse. So in this case, uh, the carrier density will, will, will very, very high. So we can observe this effect in experiments. Also, maybe you will see some, maybe just some, some FDH space. or maybe yeah, 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 some exactly. from the lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I just wanted to show a question. You have mentioned the nodal line below filling the bed. And uh, so, could you comment on its conduction property? Contributed by this model like the below the minimum. Uh, sorry, we have not considered this uh, effect very seriously. Yeah, but uh, mm, I don't have an exact answer, but <laughs> simply I can expect this will very different from the Dirac system. Because in the Dirac system, it's very easy to define a Landau label. But in the cross type of Fermi surface, I don't know the answer, sorry. Yeah. Uh, an extension to the previous question on the MO dot uh, portion. Okay. So you mentioned that you used a simple type binding model and then that fortunately matched with the experimental results, right? Now, uh, uh, is there a predictive approach as in, suppose you take a supercell, 
what kind of uh, symmetry supercell uh, would lead to this uh, vinyl semi-metal phase? Or do you have to perform explicit supercell calculations to predict uh, that this would lead to a vinyl semi-metal phase? Uh, okay. Because uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as uh, Professor Joe mentioned, the supercell mass uh, may be break the symmetry. So we only test uh, some uh, special value, for example, 25% doping is consistent with our linear interpretation method. And we only use this method in other topological insurator systems. Yeah, again, fortunately, it consists with uh, experimental data. So we guess in the uh, maybe 5D or 4D system and uh, without strong protein effect, maybe it's a good approach to study the doping system. In this particular system, uh, previous studies uh, have shown that for molybdenum dichloride, the lower energy wild mode is uh, very unstable uh, compared to the upper one. So if you slightly change the crystal parameters, the lower energy uh, wild mode appears to be uh, kind of uh, uh, destroyed. I'm wondering when you do this kind of uh, interpolation from tungsten dichloride to molybdenum dichloride, do you see any change in the stability of either of these wild modes or not? Uh, okay. Uh, and, uh, Actually, uh, this system is a, uh, I mean, this system is a concentrated system, is a very sensitive system. The separation of the wire points or the number of wire points uh, is very sensitive to the uh, latest parameters of this system. So, we have checked the uh, uh, latest constant from different experimental data. And we found in some system, uh, Marley Terrorite uh, has a uh, eight wire point. In some experimental it, uh, lattice constant, we only get four wire point. So it's a uh, very sensitive on the lattice lattice parameters. So in this system, we choose the uh, eight wire points in Marley comes the parallel for do the, uh, doing the linear interpretation. Okay, uh, if you have more questions, you can grill the speaker at the break. Okay. We have refreshments and drinks outside. But please come back by three quickly. Thank you.